Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice problem. We have x to the sixth power minus x to the third power is equal to 2. And we have to find all the possible real solutions to this problem. Of course, there are complex solutions, but we will consider that in this video. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. First of all, I will equate everything to zero. So we have x to the sixth power minus x to the third power minus two is equal to zero. Okay, so from here, I will break this whole thing down so that it will be much easier for me. So I will rewrite this as x to the third power or to the second power minus x to the third power minus two is equal to zero. All right, so from here, I will say let x to the third power equals y, okay? So wherever I see x to the third power, I'm going to put y over there. So we have y to the second power minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. All right, so from here, I'll look for two values that when I multiply, I'm going to get negative 2. But when I sum them up, I'll be getting negative 1. And the numbers are negative 2 and then 1. Okay, so I'll rewrite this equation as y to the second power plus y minus 2y minus 2 is equal to 0. All right, so from here, we have y here and then y here. So I can take y common. So we have y plus 1. Then from here, we have negative 2 into y plus 1. And this is equal to 0. Okay, so from here, we have y plus 1, then y minus 2 is equal to 0. All right. So from here, we can say that y plus 1 is equal to 0 or y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now let's make y the subject from this equation. So we have y plus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So this one will cancel this. Now we have y equals negative 1. Okay, then let's come to this side. So from here, we have y minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 2. So that this one will cancel this. Now we have y equals 2. But don't forget that we said x to the third power is equal to y. So when y is equal to negative 1, we have x to the third power equals negative 1. Okay, equating everything to 0, we have x to the third power plus 1 is equal to 0. And don't forget we have 3 over here, but you can choose not to write. Now this whole thing is the same as x plus 1 into x to the second power minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we can say that x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x to the second power minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. All right, so from here, let's make x the subject. So we have x plus 1 minus 1 is equal to negative 1. So this one will cancel this. Now we have x equals negative 1. So this side, we have x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. So when we compare this one to the general quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a is never equal to 0, we have a to be 1, b to be negative 1, then c to be 1. All right. So now putting this into the general quadratic equation formula, which is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This gives us x equals 1 plus or minus square root of 3i all over 2. So this implies we have x equals 1 
plus square root of 3i over 2 and then x equals x equals 1 minus square root of 3i over 2 2 okay the reason why i didn't work this one out is because it is complex and we are not considering complex solution okay so now let's move on to when x equals 2 So what is the value of x when y equals 2? So when y is equal to 2, we have x to the third power equals to 2. Okay, so now taking the cube root on both sides, we have this one, we take this. Now we have x equals the cube root of 2. And this is also the same as 2 to the power 1 third. So this implies that x is equal to negative 1 or x equals 2 to the power 1 third. Now let's check and see. The equation is x to the 6th power minus x to the 3rd power minus 2 is equal to 0. So let's see when x is negative 1, we have negative 1 to the 6th power minus negative 1 to the 3rd power minus 2 equals 0. You can see that we have even as the power over here so this one becomes positive one then minus then this side it is odd so definitely this is negative so we have negative one over here then minus two and this should be equal to zero okay so here we have negative negative so it will be one plus one which is positive then minus these two then minus these two and this is equal to this should be zero okay so we have 2 minus 2 should be equal to 0. So we have 2 minus 2 is definitely 0. Okay, so we can say that x equals negative 1 is a real solution. Okay, now let's test and see when x is equal to 2 to the power 1 third. So when x is 2 to the power 1 third, we have 2 to the power 1 third or to the power 6 minus 2 to the power 1 third, 1 third to the third power minus 2, it should be equal to 0. So from here we have 2 to the power 2, okay, then minus 2 because this one will cancel this, okay, then minus 2 is equal to 0. So here we have 2 squared is 4, then 2 minus 2 is nothing but 4, and this should be equal to 0. And of course, 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So we can say that the final answer to this problem is x is equal to negative 1 and then 2 to the power 1 third. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.